What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, QUP, and my pal, Heather Hertz, here to give you another infamous trailer reaction for upcoming content to our eyeballs. This one arrives on September 20th uh, of this year. It's called The Wild Robot, and it's based on a novel book. The same thing, right, Heather? It looks like it. No. Uh, no. no. Is a novel <laughs> yes, book yes, the same no. thing? A, a novel is a book. A book is not always not always a novel. Um, but it's it's you know a, a, a square is a rectangle. A rectangle is not always a square. Uh, but it looks like it is actually a a kids uh, an anim a, a kids book. It's actually what it looks like. It is kid lit. So kid lit. Kid lit. All right, I love it. Well, let's check out the wild robot from book to film. Here we go. Oh snap! Let's make it wider. What's happening? <laughs> There we go. Oh, what happened? There we go. I see it. All right, so we have BB-8 all of a sudden. No, it's okay, different. so far. Mm. It is. Oh. Well, I mean, otters are always cute. Yeah. I see. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Dark, sacred night. What a wonderful Sometimes, to survive, we must become more than we were programmed to be. Hmm. Okay. The wild robot. Edge of Pascal. Okay. Heather, you know we rarely get on a soapbox around here. Right, we don't we don't really get on a soapbox. I've, I've, like, I've never gotten on a soapbox on this soapbox. No. Never on a soapbox for sure. Um, <laughs> soapbox at, at all on this soapbox. channel. I've never done it. Yeah, never done a soapbox. But like, is, are we reminding folks that we should go out into nature and you know just technology? Technology is beautiful, but sometimes we just gotta you know put the phones down and just enjoy the world. And we keep destroying our world. That just would remind me, like. You know, how, again, we don't get on soapboxes, but it's just like how we're destroying our world. And will this tell people or remind people to do that? I, I think visually so and should, but I think it may just scoop over a lot of people's heads because people just don't care anymore. And I, that sounds so negative and pessimistic, but that's what I feel that people are going to miss the point of this. And I think it's going to be amazing. For me, it looks amazing. I already feel like I know the story. Like, I feel like this is mm -hmm. the Herald Silver Surfer uh, that's, you know, coming before Galactus comes and they're going to eat the world or destroy the world. And, and that's what this robot is. Um, Marvel nerd, y'all. Um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, the wild robot is going to, is, is there, but, you know, switching places with Silver Surfer and they're going to destroy the world. And it's so beautiful. And the wild robot's probably going to fight back. Don't destroy the world. It's beautiful. Um, but it looks like I'm going to cry because I'm an empath. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be yeah. sweet. It's going to be touching. It's going to be all those things. But yeah, I just don't think... My, my my pessimistic heart feels like people aren't going to get the message that they're really trying to do with this film. But it looks beautiful. I'm ready. I'm excited for it. Uh, but that's just where my mind went, that people just don't appreciate these things anymore. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. We have a perfect example right now in Washington, D.C. itself, where the lawmakers who continuously 
just feed into um, feed into big corporations who develop all of the most trash based and plastic filled products. Um, and then naturally de- de- pretend that climate change is a hoax. Um, and right outside the front door of Congress, they are going, this will be the last year that we will be seeing the cherry blossoms in Washington, DC until the plants are cloned and uh, replanted elsewhere. Whether that will be in DC or not is still in question. The, ni- the natural park service is still, nature park service is still trying to figure that out. And they're working with the Japanese government on that. But we have an example right there where we have people who are actively denying climate change to support major corporations and their actions while the front, while the mall is getting ripped to shreds due to climate change directly there. Um, and you're going to see a lot of that. What movies like this, if anything, I'm hoping and books like this, um, that kids will see it and kids will fall in love with nature and kids will remember that this is their planet. This is um, don't listen to the boomers who are too scared to realize that they fucked it all up and that they can't, they keep blaming it on us and it's not our fault. Um, we are kind of just stuck in the middle of a cycle that we were put into uh, but it's one of those where, and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to blame boomers. Y'all were the ones that were the big plastics. Thank you, Reagan. Lots of fingers there. Um, but it's one of those where I'm hoping that what movies like this will remind kids to do is that to be in love with nature. Um, and you can do a little bit better for the planet. We can all do a little bit better for the planet. One question that keeps coming to mind, how can you, how can you help do 10% better? What 10% of waste what 10% of your carbon footprint can you reduce so that we can keep all those wonderful animals so that we can keep swaths of forest? Um, what can you do to help? And I'm hoping that movies like this make people question it, um, even if it's just the future generations, because we can't be there are people who just will not break out of their bad habits today. Well said, Heather. I completely agree. You know my heart too. So uh, yeah, man, this looks like a wonderful movie. Looks like, uh, again, mm-hmm. going to be very thoughtful. Hopefully people will also read the book. You know, always check out the source material Absolutely. that uh, comes from, well, that where this film came from um, and uh, show it love. Um, but this looks super cool. Um, just, I know the feels are going to come through. Uh, I cry too much, y'all, but it's all good. As long as we can take that mm-hmm. cries into actual action. Like, yeah, let's do something. Let's stop crying all the time. Let's actually get inspired to push uh, for change and make things happen, man. Um, but the wild I, robot, I, yeah. Go ahead. Adam. I do want to. I do want to add a, a, a legitimate criticism because we are film critics first and, okay, and environmentalists <laughs> second. Unfortunately, um, yeah. what I will say is I I will be curious. This movie seems to be uh, mostly silent, or maybe it's like just animal yeah. noises. Yeah. Even though there is a pretty strong cast of voice actors, even though people please animation studios, please hire voice actors. We love all of these big names, please hire voice actors. Um, But anyway, it's even though you do see a a short list of names, it does seem like this is gonna be a pretty silent film. So I'm wondering who the true target is because many silent films are gonna kind of bore the crap out of kids. So I'm hoping that um, where there is silence, there is still enjoyment. Mm. I'm just gonna say that. So legitimate criticism. I I would be curious to see how a mostly silent film is going to affect children or like entice children. I feel that. And actually to tag on to what you're saying there as well, they picked up Pedro Pascal, Lupito Nyong'o, you know, some big names to maybe attract attention. But if you're not really using them to their full extent, like you said, this doesn't look like they're really talking much. Then you could have used legitimate voice actors that this is what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where you really didn't need the name actor, especially if they're not talking that much. Like, come on now. But anyway, we don't, get on there, but... here, <laughs> we don't get on soapboxes. So uh, I feel all those points. Appreciate you, Heather. Um, so there you go. Mm-hmm. Those are our thoughts, our vibes, our feelings on the wild robot. Let us know if you're checking it out in the comments below. And yeah, can't wait to see it and maybe cry. But let's turn those tears into action.